Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jonathan, and if you're new to the channel, I'm a first year PhD student at the University of Waterloo. Now it's Friday night, and I thought I would take some time to film a little video and talk about my experience taking the Manhattan GMAT prep course. Now I wrote the GMAT a few years ago, and I took the GMAT prep course three months before I wrote my final GMAT, in which I got a 700 score. And I honestly believe that taking the Manhattan GMAT prep course was the key reason why I was able to get a 700. Now, before I talk about my experience, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm not sponsored in any way by Manhattan GMAT, obviously because this channel is so small, but I just wanna let you guys know that this is my honest opinion and my experience is completely unbiased and totally objective. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is price. Now, a lot of these exam prep courses are super expensive and unfortunately, Manhattan GMAT is pretty expensive. I believe right now it's around $1,500 or $1,600 and that sounds about the range that I paid when I took the course a few years ago. Now, obviously because it's COVID, they don't do any in-person classes right now. So your classes are gonna be all online. But I did do a couple classes online when I was doing the prep course because the instructor wasn't able to come to the class in person. So I had had some experience doing the course online for a couple classes and I thought the experience was completely fine. One thing I'll say is that if you guys have the money to afford the course and you are seriously looking for something to help you get a high score on your GMAT, then I strongly recommend investing the money into the prep course if you are going to take this prep course very seriously. For me, I tried doing the GMAT on my own. I studied by myself for about a year and the highest score that I could get was around 600. Now, I knew Manhattan GMAT was extremely expensive but I kind of thought of the $1,500 price tag as an investment in my future. At the time, I always thought about doing a PhD in the future and I, and I knew that for a PhD program, I needed a high GMAT score. So I treated the Manhattan G Prep course fee as an investment into my future. Now, yes, I did pay the full fee by myself with my own savings. And I definitely encourage you guys to do the same thing as well, just because when you have $1,500 on the line, then you're gonna take that course super seriously and not waste any time. So when you pay that $1,500, Manhattan G Map Prep gives you a few things. So you obviously have the in-person classes. So it's about once a week and I had mine for about three months in the summer. It was a Sunday, 2 to 5 p.m. You also get the official guide GMAT book, and then you also get Manhattan Prep's series of books. So Manhattan Prep has like their own test prep books, and each book covers a particular subject. And these books are actually kind of expensive, so it's good that when you're paying so much for these classes, you also get the books as part of the deal. In addition, you also get, I believe, six or eight Manhattan G Prep practice exams. So these are full-fledged exams that you can do to kind of practice where, where you are in terms of your skills. And I believe the last piece is that they have some sort of interactive online software component that kind of serves as your schedule. It kind of tells you your homework for every week. It has the questions online as well, so you can kind of practice doing the questions through a computer. And it also comes with some uh, uh, basic study guides and study schedules for you. So I took the classes in downtown Toronto and they actually had the classes very conveniently at the George Brown campus near the water. So it was only a quick subway and bus ride away from me. Now in terms of the class sizes, the class sizes are super small and I think that's definitely a key benefit uh, when you're taking these prep class courses. So I believe for my class, it, we only had around five or six people. At the beginning of the course, there were a bit more people because they actually let you take the first class for free as a trial. You see if the learning environment and the structure is kind of matching what you're looking for in a test prep course. But it definitely started around, around, I believe, 10 people at the beginning of the course, and then it dropped down to around five. And one of the best things about having fewer people in the class is that you get to have more one-on-one -on -one time with the instructor. So the way that this course was scheduled out is that it spanned over three months. There was one class per week. For me, it was a Sunday afternoon, two to 5 p.m. So we had three hours in a small class with the instructor. Now there were only five or six people in my class. And what I realized is that some of these people didn't really take the class that seriously, which obviously meant it was a benefit for me because I took the class super seriously because I really wanted to get a high score. So you have these weekly classes and the purpose of the class isn't actually to go there and take notes as if it was like a university lecture. You gotta treat these classes kind of like a tutorial. So the way it works is that for every week you have assigned readings um, and you also have assigned problems that you're supposed to do. And I will be honest, there are quite a bit of readings just because the GMAT covers a breadth of topics and you gotta, and they're trying to cram all that material into a three month frame. So there's a lot of readings per week. There are a lot of questions you gotta do per week and that's considered your homework. So if you're working a full-time job or if you're a full-time student, then you definitely need to partition a piece of your day to focus on GMAT studying. Now, what are the classes for? The purpose of the classes is actually to 
take your questions that you've accumulated from the readings and from doing practice problems and ask the instructor on how to solve these questions. Now, I really think that this is the best way for you to learn and this is honestly why these courses cost so much. The, purpose, the point of this course is really to understand how the course instructor tackles these questions. Now I'm going to be honest, the topics that the GMAT covers isn't complicated. You'll notice that a lot of the topics that are covered in the books are pretty much your high school topics. But what makes the GMAT so hard is how the question is framed and how the question tests these concepts and how you're supposed to think in such a constrained amount of time. So when I was studying by myself, I did everything very algebraically just because that was how I was raised in the Canadian education system. And unfortunately, that way of learning and that way of executing problems was just not efficient for the GMAT. So when I was doing these practice problems on my own, I kept note of every problem that I couldn't do, and also kept note of all the problems that I could do, but I didn't, but I couldn't complete within like the two minute mark. So I'll collect these questions, and then when I went to class uh, on Sundays, then I would pretty much just ask the instructor, hey, how did you do this? I was having trouble with this question. And the instructor goes through each of the questions that you ask him uh, in a very detailed way. And you get to see exactly how the course instructor thinks about the question. And that's really what you're paying the money for. You want to know how these people who score really well on these exams think. And then once you can see exactly their thinking process, you try to learn their methodology and then you try to apply that methodology on similar questions you see in the GMAT. And that's pretty much what I did uh, for those classes. You gotta come prepared, you gotta have questions, and that's honestly the most, that's honestly the best way you can make use of your time over there. If you don't come in with questions, then you're not actively tackling the areas that you're not uh, succeeding at. And if other people are asking their questions, then the instructor is gonna be focusing on developing their skills and not your skills. So that's why I mentioned before, that it's really important that when you take this course, you gotta take it super seriously. Because in my small class of five or six other uh, other students, I did, notice, I did notice that some of the other students weren't coming in with questions ready to ask the instructor, but I did. So it was almost like a three hour personal tutoring session between me and the instructor. The instructor also gives you uh, his email address. So if you're working through questions throughout the week, you can just send him a quick email and he'll honestly just, and depending on your instructor, the one that I had was really good. He would respond within like an hour or two, uh, assessing my methodology, assessing my response, and then, and then sharing how he would answer the questions. And really that is how at least the Manhattan GMAT press, uh, prep course really worked. It was three months of really just digging deep on understanding methodology to answer the questions. And honestly, that learning style worked worked really well for me. I didn't want to waste, you know, a lot of class time on reading the notes or doing the really basic things because that's something that you can definitely do on your own time. You're there to ask the tough questions and to learn methodology uh, and to ultimately improve your ability to take the test. And honestly, I think that's really my biggest takeaway from the prep course. If you come in prepared and you're ready to put in the work, I think the $1,500 is definitely worth it because you're spending that money to learn new knowledge. If you're one of the students who paid that $1,500 and didn't ask any questions and just kind of showed up for three hours and sure you took notes during the three hours, but you didn't really soak as much knowledge as you could have, then your $1,500 is gonna to go to waste and you're not gonna get the score that you really want at the end of the day. So one thing I can say about the instructor is that if you go on the Manhattan GMAT prep website, you actually get to see which instructor is teaching which session. Um, so you can definitely do like a quick Google search or just check on the GMAT forums on what other people think about that instructor. The instructor that I have was Avi Gutman. I don't think he's at Manhattan G prep uh, anymore, but I thought he was an amazing guy, super nice, uh, super social, definitely very open and definitely willing to take the time to uh, uh, help you out. So hopefully you guys get an instructor that is just as awesome as he is. Definitely another benefit of doing the GMAT prep course is having those exams. Um, it's pretty obvious the more exams that you do, the more you're accustomed to the you know, I think it was like four hours of exam length, the type of questions that are being tested, you get to practice your mentality. So it came with, I think six or eight uh, practice exams. I don't remember off the top of my head. And I believe what I did was I would do one exam every every week or every couple weeks. Um, and obviously the first couple exams, you're gonna pretty much bomb. But then I think by the end, by the sixth exam, you're already in the mindset, you're already in the groove, you kind of have the, the emotional and mentality aspect kind of prepared because you've done the exam so many times. So I do think it's really good that Manhattan GMAT 
does give you a lot of practice exams to work with. There's also the social aspect of during the class, you know, sometimes studying for a professional exam like this can be a bit lonely just because it's not like in a university or college setting where you're kind of studying with your friends or your classmates and you're all kind of struggling together and things like that. Studying for a GMAT can definitely get a bit lonely if you don't have someone else that you know who's also doing the exam with you. So through these classes, you can definitely meet some other people, learn about their backgrounds, and then form study groups and kind of support each other through this journey. And I always think that's definitely a, you know, having a good support system when you're doing something that's a big challenge challenge um, always goes a long way so you guys can definitely make some potential friends or potential contacts uh, through this class as well so I think that's pretty much all I have to say overall I had a really great experience yes it cost a lot of money but because I took it seriously I think I got the most that I could out of that course and obviously my score went from I believe a 610 was the last GMAT that I took before taking the course and then I went from a 610 to a 700 um, within the span of three months. So overall I thought it was a great investment and obviously now because I'm doing my PhD program that $1,500 at the end of the day I think it was worth the money. So let me know what you guys think about this video. If you guys are writing the GMAT leave a comment down below about what your experience has been so far. If you're considering to go with a test prep company, definitely consider Manhattan GMAT. I think if you go on the GMAT forums, you know, they're constantly rated as one of the best test prep companies out there. I never went, I never looked at Kaplan Veritas. Uh, I never done any of those classes. I only went with Manhattan GMAT just because it was the most prevalent one that I saw online. But based on my experience, I think it's a great option for you if you're looking to get that leg up. Um, in the competition. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of my future YouTube videos. Right now we're at 44 subscribers, and the community is so growing. And thank you to all my subscribers and everyone who's watched my videos for your support. So have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.